What's going on everybody? It is the Kia King here and today I've got a all new Nero. But I thought I already made a video on the Nero. But I guess there must be something different. This one is a Nero EV. This is fully electric. It's all new for 2023 and I am super happy to show you guys this car. So I'm gonna take you through this car and show you all the neat features that this thing has to offer as this one is a fully loaded model. So without further ado, let's get to it. If you're new to the channel, I want to say thank you for clicking on this video. Uh, I try to educate people on the brand and showcase our cars and neat features that these things have. So if you like the content, definitely subscribe, give it a thumbs up. And uh, I would definitely love it if you hit the bell in the top right hand corner. So that way you can stay up to date on all the videos that I do release. Now, if you're a returning viewer, then I appreciate your support. Uh, it, it means the world to me. And I love the fact that you guys keep coming back to my videos and watching my content. So I just wanted to share my token of appreciation with you guys because you guys rock. And without you guys, I can't really do this stuff, you know, because why would I make a video for nobody? Jokes aside, thank you guys for uh, tuning into this video. Let's get to the car. So let's talk Nero EV. There are two trims for 2023. There's the wind model and the wave model. So the wind is more of a entry level model if you wanna go that route. But if you want a little bit more in terms of luxury and features, then you wanna go for the wave model. Now, no matter which trim you choose, they're gonna have the same powertrain. So you can expect 201 horsepower, 188 foot pounds of torque, 0 to 60 in about 6.7 seconds, and you get a range up to 253 miles. Let's talk about the front end of the all new 2023 Nero EV. So because it's an EV, you don't really have to cool off a motor on the front end of the vehicle. So because of that, you're gonna actually lose a lot of open grill space in the front. So that's why you see you have this black textured piece here, which is also matched with this tiger nose design portion of the front end. You do have front parking sensors here. You're gonna have your front LED fog lights here, which is also nice. You can see you've got the radar cruise control brake out front because this car is equipped with it. And then you do have full LED headlights here. So they are projector bulb housings. You can see you got your LED running light there, but this also doubles as your indicator, which is also really nice. Now, if y'all notice, you've got the charge port directly in the center there of the car. So you just push it, opens right on up, it can tell you the current charge of the car, which is always nice, so you don't have to play a guessing game. And you can also turn off the scheduled charging feature if you'd like. Now, other things to make note here, stylistically, you can see you got this silver painted piece here to break up the white and the black trim. Overall, it's a really nice looking front end, but I'm gonna know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. If you're curious about the front trunk, well, there's not much of one. Kia wanted to utilize as much interior space as possible without protruding into the front and rear compartments. So in the front, you can see here, there's nothing really much to talk about. But if you notice, I can pull these tabs and it opens up to reveal a space that's honestly good enough size so you can put a charging cable here if you wanted to. This one has a little cargo net. Uh, but overall, you can put some small items up front here, which is actually pretty cool. Let's talk about the wheel and tire setup here. So this is a 17 inch wheel and on this model, you can see it's a very aerodynamic wheel design. So there's a lot of surface area here. And the reason being, it helps aerodynamics. It can help reduce drag around the car and it can help maintain stable air around the car as well. So that way you get the best fuel economy you possibly can. Uh, this wheel is wrapped in Kumo tires, which is nice. So you'll be able to have a comfortable ride that's also pretty quiet. And honestly, it doesn't look like a bad wheel. It reminds me of the wheels that are on the Wind uh, EV6 model. So really nice if you ask me. Now, in the back of the Nero EV, there isn't too much in terms of differences from the hybrid model, but there's one big difference. And that's the fact that there's no tailpipe in the back because there's nothing to uh, really come out of the car as far as exhaust because it doesn't have an engine, right? So in the back here, you got the Nero script on the tailgate. You have your full LED brake light housing right here, your third brake light all across the rear spoiler. And then you do have a rear wiper blade back here. Now, just make note, you still have your LED indicators and LED reverse lights down here built into the bumper. Okay, they did retain that from the hybrid models as well. And you do have this really cool reflector piece that's actually built in 
to that light housing also. You have your uh, backup sensors right here, which is nice. You've got a backup camera. And then if y'all remember in my HEV video, you do have this little flying buttress kind of deal going on here. So they retain that. So air actually comes in through the side blade, exits right behind the brake light. Again, helping the aer uh, aerodynamics of everything working together. It's awesome. I love it. Every part of this car is functional and it really shows. Now, lastly, this is a power tailgate, just like the HEV model. You press it, opens right on up. Now looking in the back here, don't mind the trash. We had to take a lot of stickers off the inside of this car. But you can see space-wise, it's actually pretty good. I've got my camera bag, I've got my tripod bag here, and the seats, they do fold down as a 60-40 split. You can see the handle there, which is nice. If you'll notice, there's a little indent here, because you can lift this up, and you see you got a tire mobility kit, which is essentially kind of like a fix-a-flat. Uh, but you can see you got the vehicle to load accessory down there. And then you do have a storage pocket on the side there. So storage pocket over here, storage pocket over there, and then overall a really good amount of space. So they really capitalize on how much space this Nero EV has. Don't forget that this is infinitely adjustable as far as height goes. So if you want to adjust your tailgate, just bring it wherever you want. Press and hold this button. You're going to hear a few chimes after a few seconds like that and then it's set to this height automatically forevermore. So I'm just gonna press that and close it on up. Let's go take a look at the rest of the Nero EV. As far as the back seat goes, it's really not too bad back here. The headliner actually doesn't stop too close to my head. This seat's actually really far back and you can see I've got more than enough knee space here. I got a lot of leg room in the back and honestly, these seats are really comfortable. I mean. It's a comfortable place to be. I've got vents in the back here. I've got a cup holder there in the door, but I also got a cup holder right next to me. So overall, I mean, I would say as long as you're under like six foot one, six foot two, you should be fine back here, but you never know. These cars might surprise you, you know? So overall, I think if you got kids in the car or anything like that, you're gonna be really, really well surprised back here as far as space. To show you guys what I'm talking about, you can see you got the rear vents there. You're gonna have your USB-C ports built into the seat backs, and you can see this beautiful, beautiful leather interior, which from what Kia has told us is actually made using eucalyptus leaves. So that's actually really cool there. You can see the door pockets here. So some metallic finishes there, window switch, and then your extra cup holder. So you're dealing with minimalistic design back here, which is nice but you still get a lot of things you want. Speaking of which, look at that, two mat pockets, one on each uh, seat back. So overall, really, really cool. Let's go into the driver area. This is actually gonna be almost identical to the AGV models. So you can see here, you got a rotary shifter, you got heated seats, ventilated seats, a heated steering wheel, you got auto hold, which holds the brake pedal for you while you're in drive, electronic parking brake. You've got these fun little cup holders, if I can put it back in there, and then you just boop, press the button and it comes right on out. You've got the touch bar that you guys are used to and you do have the dual panorama display there, which is really, really neat. Automatic LED headlights. You do have rain sensing windshield wipers and you do have the paddle shifters here to adjust the regenerative braking. I'll go over that in a little bit. And then you get your button here for the power lift gate. Over here, you do have your power folding mirrors, memory seats, and let's not forget the Harman Kardon surround sound. So overall, this is a really, really well-equipped car. I mean, it's got a sunroof up there. This one has the home link mirror that's also auto dimming. Don't forget that this car is also equipped with digital key two. So you can use your smartphone as a key fob for the car. So not only can you unlock and lock the car, but you can actually start the vehicle and drive it just using your smartphone. So because of that, you're also gonna have capacitive touch for the door handles on this car, meaning instead of actually pressing a button, all I gotta do is physically just rest my finger on it and it'll lock the car. Now, if I wanna unlock the car, all I have to do is just rest my hand on the door handle and it unlocks. So pretty cool stuff. So I do wanna go over some cool things about this car that this thing has. So for one, for the first time ever, you do have a heads up display and a Nero. However, it's only available on the EV model, which this one has. 
So it can show you everything from the speed, uh, blind spot information, your media information, cruise control information, you name it, it can show it right there. Now, it's cool because this car also has certain things like highway driving assist too. So not only can this car utilize the adaptive cruise control and the lane safety systems to maintain a perfect position in your lane, but if you wanna make a lane change, the car can do it for you. It's got sensors to determine if it's safe to make a lane change, and if it is, put on the turn signal and the car will do the rest. This car is really something. You're probably asking Kia King, how much does this Nero EV run? Well, they can range from about $46,000, a little bit closer to $47,000, depending on how you option it out with individual accessories. Thank <laughs> you.